You're a design professional who needs to create stairs for your projects in SketchUp, but you're struggling to figure out how to go about it. In this video, I'll walk you through a powerful strategy for creating stairs from scratch that you can use on your very next project. And if you need to create more detailed or complex stairs, or you know you'll need to create stairs on many different projects in SketchUp, stick around to the end of this video and I'll share my go-to extension that makes creating beautiful and accurate stairs a breeze. Now, the most common way to add stairs to your projects in SketchUp is to create them from scratch. Now, there's a lot that goes into everything you need to know to create stairs yourself, and it's more than we can cover in this video. But I do want to at least quickly run through the process so you understand what it takes and are also aware of what common mistakes people make. The key strategy is to array components. Let's walk through it together. First, you draw a 3D box that represents the overall size of a step in your staircase. Then turn it into a component. Second, use the Move tool and tap the Control key on a PC or the Option key on a Mac to turn on the Copy function. Then move a copy of the step from bottom right corner to top left corner. And third, on your keyboard, type 10 in the letter X and then press Enter or Return. And you'll make an array of 10 copies. That gives you those 10 copies plus the original one for 11 components total. Now it's at this point that some students get tripped up, so it bears repeating, and I'll undo back to go through it one more time. To make an array, the steps are, first, pick the Move tool, then press the Modifier key, which is Control on a PC or Option on a Mac, to turn on the Copy function. Then move a copy from endpoint to endpoint, and then take your hand off the mouse. If you do anything else, SketchUp will forget that you're making an array. Then over on your keyboard, type the number of copies. So again, I'll type 10 and the letter X and then press enter or return. And then still don't touch your mouse. So long as you haven't started doing something else, you still have the option to edit the array. So you can type 15 X, then press enter or return. And you see you now have 15 copies or 13 X enter. And you see you now have 13 copies. And you can do this as many times as you'd like until you have the right number of copies. But these stairs aren't very impressive yet. But because these are components, you can edit one of them and the rest will update together. So you can add an overhang to the tread or you could work on the railing. Now it's too much for this video to get into all the tools and features that you'd need to master in order to turn these components into a more detailed staircase. If you wanna learn those fundamentals, we cover everything you need to know in our complete intro to SketchUp course on our website. I've added a link to it in the cards. But taking a step back, the overarching strategy of learning to array components will be really useful when it comes to tackling many design challenges that you'll face. However, for more detailed or complex stairs, you'll find that even this process can be tedious and time consuming. And it's really frustrating to edit when the client asks for changes. To be more efficient, you'll wanna use an extension. Now, if you're new to extensions, I recommend that you watch our Getting Started with Extensions video, which will get you up to speed on what extensions are, where to find them, and how to install them. I've added a link in the cards. Now, when it comes to stair making extensions, there are several of them out there. Some are free and some are paid, and most of them will give you good results, but I wanna focus on the one that I recommend the most, Instant Stair. Here's how it works. You can choose the type of stairs you wanna create from a library of shapes and styles. Then you can specify the parameters of the stairs. The extension will generate the stairs, and then you just need to move them into place. There's also a tool that allows you to start from a sloped line to tell the extension where to put the stairs and the total distance that they'll need to span. Or you can even draw your stairs in plan view and use instant stair to turn them into a full 3D staircase. There's also another cool feature where you can tell instant stair to create lines for railing. Then you can use another extension made by the same developer called instant fence and railing to add detailed railing to your stairs. At the time of this video, instant stair is $17 a year and Instant Fence and Railing is $26 a year. I should also mention that you can get both of those extensions, along with seven other time-saving extensions for creating roofs, doors and windows, wall assemblies, and more, all in the Instant Architecture Bundle for $118 a year. I can tell you from firsthand experience that when you consider what your time is worth, these tools will pay for themselves on your very first project. Now there's a lot more that goes into creating stairs and railings, not to mention everything you need to know to create detailed and professional models of your projects in SketchUp. And while it's definitely possible to try to learn everything you need to know on your own, if you want to invest your time wisely and avoid picking up bad habits, then I recommend checking out our video course library. It's filled with $8,700 worth of SketchUp courses for professionals, including courses that cover professional workflows for building out your projects. Head over to our website and try our courses for free. 
And if you're not ready to take one of our courses just yet, be sure to at least check out this video next to continue on your path to learning SketchUp. So what did you think about Instant Stare? Is it the right tool for you? Or will you use the Array Components feature? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you need help picking extensions for your particular projects, send a message to team at sketchupschool.com and an instructor will be happy to give you guidance. Of course, before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And until next time, happy sketching.